everyone, thanks for joining us. Today, we're gonna to start our first lesson on HTML. We're gonna get a base project started and our first HTML page started. And we're gonna cover some basic tags such as HTML, head, body, and the H1 tag. So, hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Coding Zoo. This is Shane, and I have my son with me. Hi, I'm Nicholas. And I also have my daughter with me. Her name's Jai. Say hi, Jai. Hi. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create our first HTML document. Um, you guys following along at home, just remember that if we go too fast, just pause the video and you can have time to catch up. Let's first um, start by uh, creating a folder system to put our documents and you want to keep this folder system in place for the upcoming lessons um, at the very end of all of our lessons if you want and if you enjoyed making the web page we'll post it on the coding zoo website so uh, you and your your kid if you're both following along uh, will be able to put your web page out on the internet on the coding zoo website that's if you want to so let's start by going to our desktop in Windows. If you're on the Mac, just go to your desktop also and right click and let's create a folder to put our documents in. So I'm going to choose right click on the desktop, click the right mouse button. Uh, you should see a menu come up and I'm going to go down to new and then I'm going to click on folder. Now you should get a folder on your desktop. Um, if you're in Windows, it'll probably say something like new folder. You want to change that name. Let's change it to um, Coding Zoo. Just make it all one word, lowercase Coding Zoo. And Nicholas and Jai, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask. All right, so you should have a folder on your desktop called Coding Zoo. Um, if it won't let you change the name, just right click on the folder. Again, the mouse, right mouse button on the folder and choose to rename it and then you should be able to change the name. So double click on the Coding Zoo folder. You should have a screen that pops up. You should be inside that folder and let's create, uh, let's do the same thing. Uh, create two folders in here. Uh, one, so right click, choose new, choose folder and name this one CSS. Do it again, right click choose new and then click on folder and then change it to images and we'll do it one more time make it three folders right click choose new choose folder and name it JS for JavaScript all right so you should have a coding zoo folder inside of that folder you should have subfolders um, one is called CSS, CSS, one is called images, and one is called JS, which stands for JavaScript. So the CSS and JavaScript folder we won't be using right away, but uh, as we get further along in our HTML lessons, we'll start using them. So let's create our first HTML file. Right click and choose new, and you should have an option to create like a text document and click on text document and let's rename that document uh, it probably um, has an extension the end of the file probably has dot txt uh, when you rename it you want to make sure that you take that txt off don't leave it on and type in i index i n d e x and then for the extension dot html and in your, my case, just press enter. And if you want to change it, it's asking me, do I want to change it? I'm going to press yes. Okay. So let me stop there and make sure everybody's caught up. Um, Lashun, do you need help? No. I, you're good? Yeah. You're caught up? All right. Very cool. Very good. Jai, are you good? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So before we get into editing this file, 
changing this index.html file. First, let's talk about you know what is an HTML document. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Uh, this language uh, provides instructions on formatting your web page, your web document. It's usually made up of HTML elements, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, again, we'll cover CSS and JavaScript later on. Uh, try to think of uh, HTML being the actual data that you want to show. Um, think of CSS being the way you would show that data. You'd format it, give it shape. And think of JavaScript as a way to give your web page behavior. That's how you think of those three things. So again, we'll cover CSS and JavaScript later. Let's get into the HTML. So HTML page is made up of HTML elements. An element is usually um, one or two tags. Most often it's two tags. For, in some cases, it'll be one tag. So uh, an example of that would be, uh, well, here, let's show you. Let me open up our index.html file so you can right click on it, right mouse button, not your left and choose something like open with and I'm going to choose for now notepad. All right. So a tag example would be less than sign html and then greater than sign. So that is a beginning tag. Can you see that guys? Less than sign, H, T, M, L, and then a greater than sign. Okay, so that's that's the beginning of a HTML element. So you have a beginning tag, and now you need an end tag. So to put an end tag, you type the same as the beginning, put a, a less than sign, but in this case, the next letter would be a forward slash. So less than sign, forward slash, which is a line leaning towards the right, and HTML, and then greater than sign. Let's see. That is correct. That's a forward slash, HTML. Got it, buddy? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Nicholas is running back and Wait. forth between our desks, making sure. Wait. Oops. Okay. Got it? Yeah. All right. So, uh, HTML document is made up of HTML tag elements. An element is made up of one or more or two tags. Got it? Okay. You got it? Yeah. Can't hear you. Yes. Okay. Jai, you got it? All right, so this is the beginning tag and the end tag of an HTML document. So an HTML document is made up of three parts, um, the HTML element, the head element, and the body element. So we want to go ahead and add the two other elements now. Um, so go to the second line after the HTML and press tab to make it... Uh, your cursor go to the right and type in the tag head h-e-a-d head and then press enter tab out and type in the ending tag for head so you'll notice that I moved to the next line and I tabbed out usually when you have an HTML element that is inside of another element um, you want to space it out to the right. That way it's easier to read. Okay, so I have an HTML document. I have the headed tag, and next I need the body tag. So next line, tab out, type the word body. Next line, tab out, type the word body. So now we have a complete HTML document. We have the head, the body. Uh, the head is where you put 
uh, metadata or you put data that describes your document. You got it? So how do you display an HTML document? Nicholas, do you know? No. No? Well, a document, you do it every day. You surf the web. A document is displayed in the web browser, right? That's Internet Explorer, Chrome, Mozilla, etc. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So we want to tell, in our case, we want to tell the browser, we want to tell it that our page title is called whatever you want to call it, right? So I'm going to call mine uh, Shane's Coding Zoo. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So go to your head tag. And in between the beginning tag and the end tag, put an extra line and then make sure you tab out and have the correct spacing. One more tab, Jai. And type in a tag called title. T-I-T-L-E. I'm going to close the tag. And I'm going to put Shane's and, and you, you guys put your name. I uh, just use your first name. So Shane's Coding Zoo Web. Um, I'm going to say introduction. I N T R O D U C T I O N. Shane's Coding Zoo introduction. And then I'm going to end the tag. Less than sign. Forward slash. title and then end it okay you caught up Jay Nicholas you good uh, give me a second okay you good yeah okay so go to the top of your uh, notepad and choose file and choose save so left click on file, left click on save. Let me know when you both got it. Got it. Jay, you got it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now you've saved your document. Now we're gonna open this document up in a browser. Um, you're really not gonna see anything yet. You're just gonna see a blank page because this just tells the web browser what's the name of your page. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, but let's look at it. So right click again on the um, file index.html and you'll go down to open with and this time instead of notepad choose something like Google Chrome or Internet Explorer whichever browser you usually use I'm gonna choose in my case Google Chrome okay so a web page came up came up on the screen a web page came up you got it Got it? Okay. And it's just a blank page. There's nothing there, right? If I go to, if I look at the very top in the browser, look at the tab, what does it say at the top of your tab there, Weishan? Nicholas, Nicholas? Coding Zoo. Sorry? Nicholas Coding Zoo. So where, where did the browser get that from? From our last web. Right? The title element. Title. So that's what title does. Got it? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So that's what title does. It, it tells the web browser what your page is. So if somebody saves it in favorites, it'll be called that in their favorites or on the tab, like in this case. All right. So we're almost done. Next step, let's go and change something in our body. So go back to your notepad and put your cursor in the middle of the body element. Okay, and tab out to get the right amount of spaces, right indention, and add a tag called H1. So H1, H as in Harry, and then number one. Is it capitalized? No, so that's a good question, Nicholas. So you always wanna put, there's one exception, but you always want to usually put HTML elements in lowercase, okay. always lowercase. Okay. All right. So you have the H1 begin tag, and this let's give a let's give a title that somebody can see on the screen. So what do you want to call your page? Call it um, call it the same thing. Your first name, 
Shane's Coding Zoo Introduction. And then I'm going to put my end tag for H1. I'm going to go up here and choose File and Save. You guys got it saved? Not yet. Okay. Are you caught up, Jay? Yes. Mm, almost. Okay. Save it. You're caught up, Nicholas? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So be sure you go to File and Save. And now let's go back. And if you still have the browser open from uh, looking at your web page a few minutes ago, you, you can click Reload or Refresh. If you don't, again, just right-click on your index.html file, I'll choose open with and then choose your browser. And now when you load the file up, you should see a title that's visible to you. Um, as you can see, mine says Shane's Coding Zoo Introduction. So this is just the base, basic structure of an HTML page. Then that, that covers what we're going to cover today. Um, so what you should have learned today is, you know, HTML is made up of uh, three, the main sections of HTML page is three main sections, HTML, head, and body. The head is used to put data to describe your HTML document. And the body is where you put your visual, visible elements, right? Um, you should also have learned that um, HTML is mainly for putting the data that you want to see. CSS is how you'll make it look nice and pretty later on for formatting and styling um, and JavaScript is for behavior. Those are three things you should try to try to remember. Okay. Um, and we have our title tag. You saw how that's used. It gives the, lets the browser know what's the title of the page. Um, so we have the H1 tag. Uh, it stands, the H stands for header. Uh, the one stands for, you know, it's kind of a, uh, a number that represents the sizing of the header. So you can have multiple H1 tags. Uh, you can have H1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I think you might even have a 6. We'll have to check later. I don't remember. Uh, you can have 6. You remember? Awesome. Okay. So each of those H1 tags um, are smaller uh, than the one, pre the one preceding it. So if I were to have an H2 tag below the H1 tag, the text, the wording that I put in the middle of the H2 tag will have smaller text than the H1. That's by default. But in the future, you could use CSS and make that size be different, just totally different. But we'll go over that when we get to CSS. So that's it for today. Um, be sure to kind of write down what these tags are called, um, these, these facts, and review them uh, before your next lesson. You kind of want to get this to stick in your head. What are these tags used for? You're going to be learning uh, new tags each lesson. Um, and, and of course, you'll be reusing some of the old ones. So you want to remember what those tags are for. Um, and again, be sure to keep your previous lesson. We'll be adding to it. And at the very end of all of our lessons, you'll have an option, you and your, uh, you or you and your child, uh, if you ha if we have any uh, parents there. Uh, we'll be able to, if you want, uh, send me your final HTML document and we'll put it on the Coding Zoo website. So remember to, to keep it. That's, uh, of course, up to you. So anyway, hope you learned something today. Uh, thanks for joining us. Say bye, guys. Bye. Um, so, Bella, stop that. Oh, and we have our dog Bella with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right.